When I'm going on a job walk, it's pretty hard to say that you've walked every piece, that's every every scope of work, every square foot of that project, just on a, especially a job site like this with Mauka Honolulu project. Every morning at 6.30, we have all of our superintendents, field engineers, and of all our foremen actually in this, this room. And the image is put up, and we basically go around the room. And one of our superintendents who deals more with our subcontractor civil crews and our own superintendents that deal with civil crews will kind of point out where they're going to be working for that day, the utility lines that they're going to be working on, so we can kind of see real time how the site has changed and the different areas that people are going to be working on. When the site is constantly changing, every one week, you know, we fly and we upload that, that new uh, photo. And then, you know, you have the utility files on top of that new photo of the site. And they can compare, you know, like, oh, right next to that uh, stockpile is where this utility is. And it just kind of helps them be more aware of stuff that's underground and they can't see. We started using it in smaller chunks, you know, really more of identifying small areas that we, we knew we were going to be working in, and then obviously putting the layers on of what we thought were known unforeseen utilities, or known utilities that we needed to avoid. Over time, we found more and more uses for it, really on a bigger picture from a planning standpoint. So I, I mean, I've been with the company for a long time and I've seen this evolution of um, technology. You know, when I was young, CAD was pretty new and uh, there was a lot of pushback in the industry. I mean, as a whole, the industry is usually lagging with technology and it takes the industry to pull the construction group along. Early on, CAD was the new thing and as we've moved into whether it's VR or utilizing drones, we've, we've uh, embraced it and I think from our 3D modeling to programs like Propeller, I think we've come a long way. And I think what we've realized is that they're tools, they're tools for conveying our plan. And if you understand the value of that tool and how simple it is, and use it to what it's capable of, it'll save you time and money out in the field. don't realize, I mean, we haven't flown for two weeks now just because of um, government shutdown. And, you know, it's already, I've already had people asking, when are we gonna fly next? When are we gonna get the most updated site photo on propeller? And, you know, they're starting to see what it's like without, a, without an updated image, site image, and, and that kind of thing. And just seeing how, how much it's become a part of their day-to-day -day process is, uh, I don't know, it just, it just goes to show how like, helpful the tool really is, you know? We had three or four very large unforeseen utilities complex. We had a, a 16 inch water main coming through the site that was in the wrong location. The main power feeds for the airport cut through the site that were in the wrong location. So we used it to identify some of those impacts, right? And we basically had the snapshot, the drone snapshot, the overlays of where the existing utilities used to be, where the existing utilities ended up being. We had a track record over a several month period of progress in certain areas that were being held up by certain utilities. Every day we're finding new uses for the tools within Propeller, but going back to the people that are behind the scenes at Propeller, they help us out in discovering and, and showing us the capabilities and maybe we use it in an unusual way. There's always something new that a, a different department can find a way of using the platform. job site where we didn't have propeller, it would be a lot less convenient and it would take a lot more time to do things because the bird's eye view gives you a really good perspective of what's on the job site in relation to each other and it gives you a perspective that you wouldn't have if you were standing on the job site on ground level looking at things. It's a lot easier to see the relationship between things. I can go in and check if a stockpile is still there from week to week if it's moved at all, if it's decreased in size, if it's increased in size. So from a record peeping standpoint, 
For us, it's invaluable because you've got that snapshot of the flow of the work. You can definitely see in the project where there's no work going on and where there's work going on. And to convey that to an owner, especially if it's trying to convey a, an impact or a potential impact, is invaluable. Knowing that even if there was one utility, one gas line, or one electric line, some of our electric lines are uh, 4160, some are 13.8. KV, so it's high voltage, medium, medium voltage to high voltage stuff. So if you can avoid any one of those, you either you're not shutting down the airport or you're saving someone's life. So with Propeller, I think it eliminates that risk for one that you're seeing what the project is. You're, you're not having to physically go into situations down in trenches, and it kind of gives you that knowledge without stepping foot on, on site. Our goal, especially here in this district, the Pacific District, is making sure that it gets rolled out to the field. We don't want technology to be behind that VDC engineer's computer only. We want to make sure it's uh, everybody uh, has, has the proper training to be able to understand and utilize it. So when it comes to the type of technology we want to utilize for a project, we want to make sure that it is going to save time, that maybe it helps with safety, for the quality, how is it going to benefit the project team? If it's something just to make the project look cool, we're not interested in that. We want to make sure it's beneficial in some kind of way for that team. When you put all those pieces together, it creates a better picture of what actually is happening on your job site and kind of having that limited exposure of being on your job site 100% of the time. The workflow means that we can count on Propeller to help us out with the data processing side of things and takes a bit of a load off of us, lets us concentrate on what we do best, which is building. 